Hey guys, it's Miharu, and Nitro Field is one month away. We've seen so much, but at the same time, there is still so much to be seen. And so, here are five tracks I personally can't wait to play. Starting off, we have Clockwork Wumpa. I was immediately drawn to this one due to its aesthetic. Kinda reminds me of Cortex Castle in a way. The big gargoyle in particular really stood out to me. Now, we've already seen full gameplay of this level, and of course it's nothing new to those of you who played it a million times in Nitro Kart, but despite owning the game, I have very little experience actually playing it, so this will be pretty much new to me. I can already tell I'm not gonna like this part so much where you have to jump the gears, but I'll see how I do. Next we have Mystery Caves. Again, it's all in the aesthetic. I really love the colors, especially the greens and browns of the cave walls against the bright orange of the lava. It looks like some kind of ancient temple, like something straight out of the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland. The only thing Nitro Field could do to make this better is at a snake theme. They do that, and boom, instant favorite. Moving on, we have Hot Air Skyway. This is a nostalgic one for me. When I was a kid, I'd often mess around on this track wondering who the hell that character was whose face was all over the blimps. I hadn't played Crash 1 at the time, and I didn't get very far into the story mode of CTR, so I went years not knowing. But anyway, aside from it being the first time I saw Pinstripe, I liked it for basically being the Rainbow Road of Crash. Of course, at the time I'd also never played Mario Kart, but I digress. It's just got a fun, twisty layout and some great music. A favorite of mine for sure. Next up is Electron Avenue, my go-to track in CNK and the only one I remembered without having to look it up. Yet another level we've seen full gameplay of, and it looks so good. I dare say even better than the original version with its new purple and blue neon colors that just light it up like a futuristic city during the night. Love the music as well. I refuse to play any character other than Engine on this track in keeping with my one Nitro Kart tradition. And last but certainly not least is Oxide Station, my number one practice track in the original and possibly my favorite level in the game. While its layout might seem fairly simple while racing, I've always loved it for its winding paths littered with boost pads and fantastic music reminiscent of that in the jetpack levels of Crash 2, one of the most memorable parts of the game. Being able to play as Oxide on this track is going to be a dream come true, though I highly doubt I'll do him justice with my current skill level. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. What areas are you most looking forward to seeing in Nitro Field? Leave a comment and let me know. As always, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you next time. And until then, this is Miharu, signing off.